message. Leo, what do you think? Um, yeah. Yeah? No way. Yes, we are. How are you feeling, Isaac? So good. Look, no hair. Okay. All right, we're on the move. We're in Eugene. It's been uh, a few weeks since our last video because we've just been spending all our time getting the bus ready to go. So we're headed down to California right now. And so the next few videos are just gonna be about um, kind of what we did and how we did them. Um, so this video, we're talking about how we got legal, how we got our license plate. And it's kind of a funny story, kind of a long story, a little bit dramatic. But first, we're gonna go play at our favorite park in Eugene, Oregon. What do you think about uh, Eugene? You're on the bicycle and the way turned. Yeah. So, so we over. There's another schoolie up there. It's a rainbow bus. We've got a chicken coop on top, which we think is really cool. All right, so getting legal on our school bus in the schoolie was kind of a fun and long process. The first thing we had to do was uh, buy the bus, and then we went to the DOL, and we transferred it over to our name, the title, um, and that's easy enough. They don't ask many questions. They just want you to pay the tax on it. So that was like $300. Um, but then they told us, I told them, I was like, hey, I want to transfer it from a school bus to an RV. And they said, all right, do the conversion first and then come back to us and we'll tell you what the next step is. So we got pretty close to finishing the conversion and then we went back to the DOL. Joy actually went to a couple different DOLs to ask him what the deal was. It seemed like some of them might have just given us our license right away, um, but no one really knew what to do. And so everyone was kind of telling us that we needed to go to state patrol to get it inspected, get a signature from them to make sure we're legit. And so we got a day pass, five bucks from the DOL, made an appointment online with the Tacoma State Patrol, which is about a half hour away from us. And uh, we went up there. And what they said is that you need two out of three things. You need a toilet, cooking area, and a sleeping area to make it an RV. And so we had all of those. And the state patrol guy came and he looked in the bus for like two seconds. He just said, hey, you got sleeping, cooking, and bathroom? And I said, yep. And then he said, okay, where's your VIN? And I said, I don't know where my VIN is. I haven't seen my VIN in a long time. Since demo day, someone uh, might have torn it off. He's like, oh, well, that's a felony to tear off a VIN number. And I said, really? Because I don't know who did it. It could have been any, anyone. Um, but it's usually up by the driver's, driver's door. Um, and so we couldn't find it. He said, all right, usually it's back kind of in the engine compartment, somewhere on the rail of the bus. And so we looked for like an hour at State Patrol. And he said, you're going to have to find it yourself. So go home, do some homework, call Thomas Engines, and figure out where this VIN number is, somewhere on the chassis of the bus. So we left the uh, state patrol dejected. They said, figure out the VIN number and come back to me. I was with Jonathan and my dad, and so Jonathan called Thomas Engines, and they said, oh yeah, it's just right under the uh, stairs on the entryway. And so we looked underneath, and we found a 15-digit number, but, it was on the axle, but we didn't know that. So we called them and we said, hey, uh, Mr. State Patrol, we found your silly little VIN number. And he said, all right, come back in. So we had to turn around, go back to State Patrol. We said, ha, here it is. Here's the VIN number. And he said, oh no, that's the axle number. That's different than the chassis number. And I was like, oh really? Because it looks like a VIN number to me. And he said, not gonna work. Go back home and do better homework. So we left dejected again. And so we went to a nearby Home Depot and we just started scrubbing the underside of the bus. And we called Thompson and like six different guys said six different things. Like, oh, it's either in the front. Oh no, it's probably in the back. Oh no, it's probably in the middle. Oh no, it's definitely on the left. Oh no, it's definitely on the right. And so 
we looked in the front, the middle, the back, the left, and the right, and then we gave up and went to New Market, and we got a bunch of high schoolers to look under the bus for us, and they couldn't find it either. So I went back home and started pressure washing under the bus. And the first place that I shot was behind the, I think it was the driver's side front wheel, and there was this little tag on it. I'll show you guys in a second. This is where we found the chassis number of the bus, right in this wheel well. It says date, chassis number, VIN number, and it's carved in next to each one, but the VIN number is not carved in. And so I was like, oh no, what the heck? I think I found the tag, but it doesn't actually have the VIN. So I called the state patrol and they didn't answer me. They didn't call me back that day. So I spent the whole rest of the day with my mom underneath the bus, pressure washing, searching. One guy said, look on top of the rail underneath the bus. And I was like, no way, that's crazy. It's like, you're gonna have to have a mirror to do it. You can feel it with your hand. But this is a 26 year old bus and it's covered in junk and so it was just a disaster. Um, and so we only ever found the tag, we never found any like engravings on the actual chassis itself. And so the next day my mom, cause she's awesome and so cool, she just started calling people. She called State Patrol, she called Thomas again and she went down a line of a bunch of people and she found a guy, Dominic I think, who was able to cross-reference the chassis number that we did find with the VIN number and then she called State Patrol and said, hey, this guy can cross-reference. Is that cool? And he said, yeah, that's awesome. Great work, guys. And I was like, yes. And so we went down the next day, I showed him the tag with the chassis number. He looked it up, it connected with the VIN number, so I didn't steal the bus, which is what they were most worried about, I guess. Um, and he reprinted the VIN number tag and he said, don't take this off. And I was like, I don't know who took it off the first time. He pinned it on, signed a piece of paper, and then I went to the DOL and I said, hey lady, make me an RV. And she said, hold on a second. I said, okay. And then she went to the back and she said, you're gonna have to get an official scale weight for this because the scale's different. And I said, really? Because State Patrol didn't say that and I really don't want to. She's like, it's $5 to get another day pass. You don't have to do the $30 one. And I was like, oh, thank you. And she said, we only take cash. And I didn't have cash, so I ran home, got some cash, and I was like, hold on a minute. I'm gonna go to a different DOL and just see what they think. So I went to the other DOL, and she was like, oh, great, that's so fun. Here's your license plate. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah, really. And I was like, cool. I didn't mention anything about the scale weight. And that's how we got licensed. And then I called State Farm, and I was like, yo, Kev, I need some insurance. And he's like, on your bus? And I was like, heck yeah. He's like, hold on, I need to make some calls. And so for three hours he was making calls trying to figure it out. And he talked to the higher ups, the powers that be at State Farm, and he said, it'll be 28 bucks a month to insure your bus. And I said, really? That's super cheap. And I said, for full coverage, vandalism, tree fall, crash, my crash, your crash, we all crash? He said, yeah, you're full coverage. And I said, no way give me that and he said we'll do and so that is how we got legal state farm state patrol DOL it's a whole runaround but we're allowed to drive anyone can drive my bus now legally which is just crazy so I um, hope you guys enjoyed the story we're out here at uh, Lake Siskiyou and there's a pretty mountain behind us and so we're just hitting the road we'll uh, keep making some videos thanks for watching like subscribe, do whatever you want to do.